Guys, I was able to pull the audio from John Middlecoff's podcast, and it is unbelievable. So let me just give you guys a little background on John Middlecoff for those who don't know who he is. He used to work alongside Ryan Gritchen and Lewis Reddick in Philadelphia. They all worked in the scouting department together. Now he runs a podcast in the Bay Area talking about the San Francisco 49ers. And with Lewis Reddick being a candidate for the 49ers general manager position, he's comparing Lewis Reddick to Ryan Gritchen in their Philadelphia days. And this is one of, if not the greatest things you will ever hear in your life. So we'll play the audio, and then we'll discuss it after we're done listening to it. Like, guy, the difference between Ryan Gritchen and Lewis Reddick, if I was an owner and I had to choose the two of them, would be like the difference between Steph and like a D-League point guard. They weren't even in the same fucking realm. I mean, they were in different universes. But Ryan Grigson became a GM. So I, I saw firsthand, like, everyone I was around was like, Ryan Grigson just became the GM of the Colts? Like, it was jaw-dropping, right? It was it was jaw-dropping. When he got the interview guy, let alone then got the job, it was like, oh, my God, he's going to get Andrew Luck. He's going to have a job for life. And And clearly his resume speaks for itself, right? If he wasn't... BFFs with the owner. How does he keep a How job? How is he still with him? him? Comparing Lewis Reddick to Ryan Gritchen is like comparing Steph Curry to a D League point guard. I couldn't have said it better myself. Ryan Gritchen is literally the equivalent of a D League point guard running an NFL franchise. It's unbelievable how this man kept his job for five years. You heard the way Middlecoff was talking about him. He said in Philadelphia, they were shocked that he got the initial interview in Indianapolis, let alone getting the actual job. And like he said, his resume speaks for itself. And we know it. As Cole fans, nobody knows it the way we know it. Zero defensive players left from the 2012, 13, and 14 drafts. Zero players left, period, from the 2013 draft. He missed on three consecutive first-round draft picks. Bjorn Werner, trades for Trent Richardson, Philip Dorsett. The free agent list goes on and on and on. Art Jones, Trent Cole, Laron Landry, Andre Johnson, Greg Toller. I could go on all day and all night. I mean, this guy is really the worst general manager of all time. And to have a former co-worker of his speak about him the way John Middlecoff just did, I mean, it sums it all up. And like John Middlecoff said, if he wasn't BFFs with the owner Jim Irsay, he probably wouldn't have a job right now. And if Andrew Luck wasn't such a nice guy and said to Irsay, can you please get me a new general manager? Can you please get me a new head coach? That would probably have been done last year because Rodgers, Brady, a lot of these top-tier quarterbacks, most of them, none of them actually would have put up with this for five years. Andrew Luck is such a nice guy, especially when you have a guy like Ryan Gritchen actually coming out and blaming Andrew Luck's contract on the reason why he couldn't build the defense. You've had five years. The first four years, Andrew Luck was on a rookie contract, couldn't build the defense then. You have zero defensive players left from the 2012, 13, and 14 drafts. You're going to throw your quarterback under the bus. You're going to talk about his contract being the reason why you can't draft properly. I mean, it's just ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous what this man has put us through. And thank you, John Middlecoff, for coming out and speaking the way you spoke. And the thing is, the funniest thing to me is, how this guy's like a horrible human being. Like, nobody even likes Ryan Gritchen on a personal level. Like, everybody that knows him dislikes him, except it seems like Jim Mersey. It's like Jim Mersey's the only man that actually likes him. Nobody else likes him. It's like he has pictures of Jim Mersey snoring coke on his desk or something. Like, how else could this man possibly have kept his job for five years? He's done absolutely nothing right. He's done nothing right. He can't put an offensive line around his quarterback. He can't build a defense. Like, what has this man done to keep his job for five years?